Hi there, this is Chris Newmarker, Senior Editor of QMED and MPMN. I'm at Biomed Device Boston. We're going to check out some of the top technologies we have around the show. Come on. Hi, I'm Andrew Salantano from Boston Engineering in Waltham, Massachusetts. This is a design of a special device designed by a dentist, but we've basically taken that idea and built it into a working model that's actually in production. Now, if I try to inject you with a piece of, with a Novocaine needle, you'll feel the pinch, but if I use this, it has a very exclusive vibration algorithm that prevents you from feeling any pain at all. I'm Nate Pellis with Ranger Automation. This is an RT100 three-axis servo robot. This robot is fully programmable and flexible. Any strokes can be extended to the custom needs of our customers. We are the only manufacturer in the United States providing flexible automation for injection molders. I'm Rick Crane. I am from JPAC Medical. These reservoirs are special in that we are able to build in variable heat seal strengths within a single set of packaging materials. So what it allows us to do is to custom create a design of a blister. We can fill any reagent and provide a dispensing mechanism that under a crushing movement, the liquid can be forced out through an area of the seal that is designed to be weaker than the rest of the seal. And the magic is being able to dial in variable heat seals within one set of packaging materials. I'm Harald Krauser from Volpi Group, um, a Swiss-American based uh, OEM development and manufacturing company. This, for example, is a fiber-based lighting system for a lab on a chip system. This does provide um, homogeneous light over the surface by a special prism in here and uh, this kind of homogeneous light makes sure that you get from each position on the chip the same fluorescent intensity if there is a label. With a 3D printer you can print about just about anything you can design. If you can design it in 3D software, the printer will reproduce it. We offer a wide range of materials and types of printers. We're big with enclosures. If you're making a medical device, most everything has an enclosure involved. The parts inside can be manufactured. The one thing we don't do is circuitry. But beyond that, anything that you design, a 3D printer will reproduce.